Hey, what's up everybody? It's Eric Osuna coming at you from Berkeley, California, talking about the intersection of where tech and media meet, motivation, meditation, and manifestation. And today I'm talking to you guys about this war that's going on. The reason I'm using the word war is really because this article in Inc. Magazine that came out uh, recently, which I will post down here in the article, called it war. And I guess you could call it that, but it's really not a war when you know Apple's gonna win. And the reason why I say that, if you're not familiar with what's going on, is that Apple is always stood by the fact that privacy is really important to them. There's been a lot of debate about whether that's true or not. And you know, these giants fight each other all the time. I'm sure you guys are familiar with the fight that Google had with Apple, that continues to have with, with Apple uh, when Google was on Apple's board for a long time the advent of, of Android. And if you're not familiar with these stories, you can look them up or leave leave some comments and I'll, I'll leave some answers. Um, this latest fight that Inc. calls it war, but it's really not a war, it's a battle because Apple is going to win. Apple, as you probably already know, has always been a big supporter of privacy and privacy rights. There's been a lot of debate back and forth on whether that's absolutely true or not. And there's some gray area. But I'm not here to debate that here now. What I am here to say is that Facebook is fighting Apple's new policy changes, which basically describe everything that the app is doing. Now, these are being self-monitored by the app. So if you have an app on, on Apple, on your Apple device, you have to tell your user, your consumer, what you're tracking. So if you're not familiar, I'm sure you are, everything that you're smelling, tasting, thinking about, sleeping about, snoring about is known. <laughs> whatever you do, <laughs> you know, whatever your habits are, whatever you do, whatever you say, everything is known, okay? Everything is being at some point recorded if you didn't already know. And the level at which that is done and at, at the level at which that is disclosed has never been done before. And Apple is now forcing that on applications. So Facebook is part of Apple. Uh, you're probably watching this on your Apple device, maybe. Because Facebook is operating on Apple's platform, they have to comply. I'll take a screenshot and show you guys what that looks like. So you'll have to now opt in if you want disclosure. That, that means if you want these companies to know your stuff, you have to now tell them, yes, I want that to happen. So what's, what happens now is you have to opt in if you want that, it's not automatic. So before it was automatic opt in, now it's not an automatic. You have to manually opt in if that's something that you want. If you want people to know what you're smelling, what you're tasting, what you're thinking about, I'm kidding about that. But basically everything that you do, if you want to track your your finances, your your purchases, your uh, your browsing history, you know how long you're spending on different apps and things like that, everything that these companies right now are taking, including some your voice and some your video. But bottom line is that now you these companies have to disclose it. You have to opt in. And Facebook takes so much of this information, they utilize it for their advertisers, which you, you guys probably already know this, just to make sure to put it out there, because I have all types of people following this channel, from novices to people that are in the industry. So I'm gonna just be general about different areas that I talk about. Right now, what happens is that you are the product you are what they sell and we've been the basically the product right but now you have to say yeah i want you to i want to be the product for the convenience of having a news feed and sharing pictures with my friends i want to be able to to use all those services for free so sell my sell my soul sell my digital soul here you go that's what's happening right now 
that's changing. It's changed a lot in Europe. It continues to change here. You know, more and more privacy issues are coming up, especially now with this new administration. I think things are going to even, uh, I think Kamala is very familiar with a lot of these topics. Uh, and, and some of these changes have already been just sort of evolving. So these battles are going to cost millions of dollars. And what's going to happen at the end of the day, Facebook, just like everybody else, is going to have to continue to evolve. It is going to affect their business model. It's going to affect a lot of pe people's business models. But if you don't have that built into your sort of DNA and don't have the go right go-to market strategy, it really is going to make it more difficult for, for startups that were built on a paradigm that basically said we can suck DNA for, and literally, uh, yeah, you can mine DNA <laughs> now, uh, which I think is something else that we need to discuss at some point is your DNA is for sale. Yikes. Anyway, so I'll, that's, that's another talk for another day. I wanted to just bring this up. I think this is so important. And I thought you might want to know too, what are your thoughts on this, on this war, on this battle? I call it battle. You may call it war. I'll link the article down here so you can so you can read up a little bit more. But uh, curious to what you what you think.